Hey, my name is Drew, and I've had the opportunity to be connected with highly influential people throughout my career. I've also spent countless hours studying the activities, actions, and qualities of influential people. My goal with this channel is to help you increase your influence in the workplace. Stay to the end because I have a free assessment where you can measure your influence. I kind of want to go through a little test, if you will, on are you transactional or are you relational? And we're all going to lean one way or the other in business, in life, in relationships. But I want to give you some questions because you might not know. You might not actually know if you're more relational or transactional. So I have three questions for you that you can ask yourself to see if you are more transactional or relational. Number one, when composing an email to a client, to a team member, do you ask them how they're doing? How's your day going? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, great seeing you last week. How's the family? Or do you jump right in to business? If you jump right into business, you may be more transactional. Number two, okay, so when you're at a networking event and you're talking to someone, are you asking them questions like, what do you do? So that you can determine if they are your target audience? Or are you asking them questions so you can discover why they do what they do? If you are simply reaching out to them to see if they are your target audience, you may be more transactional than relational. And then the final one, this one, like I said, it may be a little risque, uh, a little out there. So a um, little PG-13. The last one is, do you believe that sex begins when the lights go out in your bedroom or do you believe sex begins in the morning when you're doing dishes in the kitchen? All right, maybe that one's just for the guys. Guys, I'm giving you a softball here. Um, it, if you believe sex begins in the bedroom at night, you're definitely more transactional over relational and you are missing out, my friend, okay? So, uh, so I hope you took that test. I hope that helped you out so you can determine if you are more transactional or relational. And um, the biggest key in what you can do to grow in your relational ability, if that's a word, I just made it up. What you can do is you can always think about the person over the project. Think about them over the task. And if you can begin to think that way and shift your mindset that way, you will increase your relational quotient and you will be better at connecting with those that are around your life, gain greater influence, be a better leader, be a better salesperson, and be a better fellow employee. So I hope that helps you today. Are you more transactional or relational? Make the change and you'll be glad you did. If you found value from this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. To receive the free influence assessment, simply click on the link below that says influence assessment. If you have any questions or comments about influence, please comment below and I will look forward to connecting with you. Always remember, increase your influence, realize your dream.